In this video, I'll be doing the preview for Arsenal's third game of the Premier League, uh, Premier League season. Obviously, the last game before the international break, actually. Already one uh, coming up, and Arsenal hoping to get three out of three wins. Let's hope we can do that after a very tough start to the season. And it's only continuing. Got Brighton, Spurs, City, and etc. So, um, yeah, getting straight into it. Starting off with the Arsenal side of things. Um, and, of course, as I said, we started the season great. Talked about the Wolves game, but the Villa game was a very impressive result. Yes, we got fortunate at times with the Oli Watt Watkins misses because maybe if he puts those away, uh, maybe another day we lose that game. Uh, Ryan with a great save too. Um, but then, you know, when you don't play well, you just need to get the uh, game done, win the game. And that's what we did. And at the start of the season, maybe it doesn't matter too much. Just get the result and we did that. Trossard coming off the bench, you know, superb goal clutch again. Party seed in the game. Saliba and Ryan are great as well. So listen, good, you know, obviously the performance wasn't 100% convincing, but we got the win away at Villa Park. Lots of teams are going to struggle there. We did struggle, but we got the win and that's going to be very, very important in the upcoming season, I'm hoping. And yeah, very, very positive stuff. First away game done. Um, and of course, uh, you know, if you're still talking about transfers as well, that still will be going on. Um, of course, Mikko Marino, he will be involved in the squad, I imagine. I don't see why not. He's done training with Arsenal. He's been officially announced. So, will he start? Lots of people asking that question. Um, could Mikko Marino just be chucked in straight away? I personally don't think so. I don't think Arteta's the kind of guy who really does that. Um, especially if, we, you know, considering we won two games. I think he'll come off the bench later. I can't really see him starting, even though I wouldn't mind it. Um, and, yeah, so, but nice to see him. At least, you know, an option off the bench. I think hopefully he'll do well. Uh, and, yeah, so other than that, you may be trusted for Martinelli, but I don't expect too many things to be different and um, i recently continue to win get off to a great start of the premier league season of course last season with a bit of a shaky start we drew with fulham in the third game and that was very poor so i'm hoping we can you know get a win of course not going to be easy brighton had a great start themselves but of course we're aiming to compete for the premier league title at home against brighton being shaky over the years but we need to, we need to make sure we you know get this result get the win uh, and you know maybe another clean sheet we've had two so far but maybe not we just need to get a win no matter what as Brighton have scored goals in both their games too so it's going to be a super tough game Brighton look very exciting but we know all know how good Arsenal are at the moment yes we not be we, we may not be in our 100 100% groove uh, playing you know scintillating football dominating teams maybe not quite yet but we are getting results over the line some good performance Saka started off the season great Saliba doing you know the defense in general Raya had a great start too um, and yeah so hopefully we can continue Continue to win the game and we need to make sure to push on and continue doing that I uh, still want an attacker in this transfer window I think that will be absolutely crucial but whether we get one or not that will not uh, obviously be happening uh, well, it won't obviously be available for the Brighton game so it's irrelevant at the moment um, and we just need to get this win because the most important thing is we winning on the pitch and Brighton going to be a tough opponent hoping we can do that and um, of course last season had some joy against them previous seasons we've not really had great joy against Brighton last season did the double over them the 2-0 victory at home uh, Jesus scoring and Havertz scoring and really could have been more first half thought we were fantastic and um, just didn't get the goal got the two goals in the second half and overall i think even deserve who was the manager at the time said that we deserved it we were fantastic and um, in the away game again very good stuff got the penalty and then majority of the game apart from that in season shot that raya saved they didn't really threaten us too much Havertz getting the second and then Trossard going against his old club on the break. So, uh, and uh, good interception, of course, too. And yeah, listen, two comfortable wins against Brighton. And, um, and you know, deserve we got the better of him last season. Um, however, this season, it's, you know, they play a similar way, but it is a different manager and it's going to be tough. Uh, and over the season, you know, Brighton's that team that, you know, if you're not, if they can really cause an upset against you, beat you at home, beat you away. And, you know, they play great football as well. So that's why it's going to be tough. And Brighton's going to be a very sticky, uh, sticky game. Um, but of course, last season, as I said, we did great. And we need to make sure we continue that. Even though before last season, we had a bit of an iffy record against them. But last season, let's hope we can replicate that kind of form against them. Because on aggregate, 1-5-0. And we were fantastic. So, going to be a tough game. Arsenal really trust them at the moment. We're doing good stuff. Uh, you know, Marino sh should hopefully be on the bench. Positivity at the moment. Um, and let's hope we can get a win. Make it a 3 out of 3. But for the international break, I'm really hoping we can do that. Um, but moving on to the Brighton side of things. Um, and like us, they've had a fantastic start to the season. I mean, I will bring in the Premier League table here, actually. Of course, it's only two games. Don't matter too much. But City, Brighton, Arsenal, Liverpool. They've all got the great record. 100% uh, 
won all their games. And um, of course, uh, Brighton, you know, as you can see, they're doing very well. Uh, won two of their games on six points that um, obviously already. And you know, under their new manager, you can't really, um, you can't really say that's you know an awful start whatsoever. They've done extremely well. And um, of course, their first game, you beat Everton three, no, yeah, three nil. I thought it was four nil. I think the goal towards the end that didn't count, but three nil. Um, convincing performance. Everton all over the place, but you still have to admit. Uh, Everton did okay for uh, at the start, but right in better team overall in the end. Won 3 0 pretty comfortably, and then beat Manchester United 2 1 in the 90th minute. Weren't the most convincing all the game because they got a bit fortunate with maybe that Xerxes disallowed goal. Um, but listen, they took advantage, they played good football, and they pushed towards the end, believed they could win, didn't settle for the draw, and they managed to do that job. Hedro scoring that 95th minute win, I believe, and that's brilliant scenes for them. And that puts them on six out of six points, and they very much deserve it. And of course, uh, the manager, I mean, they got a new manager, as I said, Fabian Hertzler. Sorry if I mispronounced that. Um, obviously, I think he's the youngest manager in the league, 33, I think, maybe, uh, at least around that. Um, and listen, he's done a great job. The thing about Brighton is that they kind of play the same, you know, they love playing out from the back. They don't really like going long a little bit like the Zerbi. There's not too many differences I've noticed personally at the moment, but that's not a bad thing because they've played very good football so far. Um, and as I said, they like to have lots of the ball. They like to have possession. Uh, and yeah, again, they like to play out from the back. That the, the risk It's very risk-taking. They make, you know, made a few mistakes against Man United, but that's the way the manager wants to play. Very positive football. And Hurtslow, want to see more of him, of course. It's only been two games, but listen, from what I have seen, looked very very good very young manager um, and he's looking very very good so far on this Brighton team and definitely put down his imprint I'd say definitely you know I think the players are playing for him and I think he's done very very well so far and you know got a good Brighton team playing good football and um, of course Brighton's players listen but they have loads and loads of good players can't go over everybody because you know they've a good squad actually and um, of course they got Lewis Dunk <coughs> being a defender there for quite a while now solid Premier League outfit and been there for a while as I said you know familiar with the attackers familiar with the league he's one of the leaders might even be the captain if i'm not mistaken so he's a you know very important player for them he's very good uh, of course uh mitoma very tricky winger got injured a few times last season don't even know if he played against us and um, but of course he's back a uh, great assist against man united and very tricky wing of course very skillful very fast good in transition good decision making so very good left winger we all know Mat uh, mitoma is a good player and um, of course they've minte uh, they got him from Newcastle and looks a very looks a very good player. Looks very raw though, so he's vapid, by the way. But like when it comes to that final third, he sometimes uh, takes the wrong decision. And you know it's natural when you're that young, you can't expect him to be fully complete. So big threat on the transition, big threat when he has the ball running at his fullback. But maybe he can sometimes be raw. But when he does get it right, he's going to be some player. But yeah, already a big threat already. Very nice player. Looks a very good pickup from Brighton. Uh, the recruitment's very good. Um. Of course, they have Simon Adinga. I've been talking about this guy for a long time. I really wouldn't mind Arsenal going for him, especially because he started off there. He scored in the Cowboy Cup game, actually. Uh, but, of course, mainly in the Premier League, he's been on the bench so far. Got a great assist for Pedro's goal uh, against United. Really wouldn't mind him at Arsenal. But you have loads of attackers, and they're not even in Europe. So, maybe people are suggesting they could sell, but... I would love a Dingo at Arsenal. I think he can play both sides. He's young, and I'm a big fan of him. Let's hope he doesn't, you know, let's hope he doesn't prove to Arsenal why we should buy him something like that. But listen, I'm a big fan of a Dingo. May not start the game, but off the bench is a very good option for them to have. And um, Joe Pedro, listen, a uh, big fan of him as well. Of course, we saw last week uh, Morgan. Sorry, yeah, what was it? Morgan, Morgan Rogers, I think, had a good game against us. Um, and, you know, running out of midfield, powerhouse in that midfield, running through us. And Joao Pedro is quite similar, did he get to Nate's, a uh, good, very good runner, carrying the ball through midfield. He's powerful, he's quick, he has good control of the ball, physical, and that's the kind of profile he, he can really help Brighton because we saw uh, how much uh, trouble Rodgers gave us last week. I think Joao Pedro could potentially do a similar job. And, you know, through our midfield, I think he could be a big threat. And that's, the, you know, kind of the main thing I'm worried about. He's a very good threat, goal threat as well, but carrying that ball through midfield, winning fouls, very smart player, a bit like Morgan Rogers, um, and of course Danny Welbeck, of course, uh, you know, been in the Premier League for a long time, played for us, played for Man United, scored his 100th goal last week, I believe as well, so listen, he knows what the Premier League's all about, and um, you know, he may not be the most amazing striker now, but he still can do a fantastic job, as I said, he's still scoring goals, uh, and you listen, he's going to go down as a very good Premier League player, certainly that at the very least, so 
very good for him. Nice to see him getting back to scoring goals. Arsenal had lots of injuries. And yeah, nice to see him getting back at Brighton, scoring lots of goals, as I said. And he'll be a big threat, wanting to score more goals too. Um, and listen, they've loads of other good players. I could go on. They have Gilmore, they have Van Heck guy like him as well. SG Pinyan, he might be injured. Their goalkeeper still very good with ball at his feet. Um, and listen, they have loads of good players, but of course, can't go over everybody. Um, and yeah, Brighton very, uh, got together a very good team, I'd say. Um, of course, you know, some of the transfers, actually. I will go over this now. Um, first of all, the arrivals. Uh, they got uh, Jorginho Huruta, I believe, uh, from Leeds. Release clause. Uh, we'll probably make the bench against us. Um, don't know if he'll start the game straight away. Have to wait and see. But yeah, I'm excited to see what he's about. Mente just talked about him. Very good pickup. We a good midfielder. Like the look of him. And uh, like, you know, I think he can uh, partner with any one of the guys. Baleba, uh, Gilmore, Milner as well. Um, you know, he could partner anybody. Gruda, again, another right winger. Don't know too much about him, but he looks good. Uh, Kadioglu, listen, looked very impressive in the Euros. Was even linked to World Arsenal. Like an inverted fullback, but can do a job on this as our um what's the word uh, overlapping as well so he looks a very tidy player again don't know if he'll start straight away but he's a very good player for Brighton and you know very good option at the bench a uh, very impressive in the Euros and Matt O'Reilly it uh, looks a good player but unfortunately I think he actually got an injury in the Cowboy Cup so it looks like he will be out wishing him a speedy recovery but he looks a good signing so you can see um the Avails look very efficient looks like they brought in some good players for quite a bit of money um, and you know got lots of attackers as well so you know probably um some of the best attacking depth in the league to be honest on this more options than us in my opinion so they look very good at front they look absolutely stacked um, and i think they've got some very good options there uh, some of the departures not too bad they uh, saw dennis undav i don't you know he scored against us a few seasons ago but other than that don't know if he did too much for them pascal gross though he was a good player for them went to Borussia dortmund and um, you know don't think he's you know a tragic loss but you know he's a very good player for them scored goals and you know did very well could play right back too so a little bit of a loss and um, he, he did well for them. I do think Brighton, uh, you know, the, he was a good player for Brighton, as I said. But yeah, they've only really lost those two. You, of course, in the past, they've lost Kukurea, Caicedo, uh, lots of different other guys as well. But listen, just uh, if you're going off last um, the current window, I should say, they've not really lost too many players. And they look like they can do a very good job. So listen, the transfer window is good. The players are good. And they'll be a very tricky team. Um, and yeah, just a little summary. Listen, it's two teams that have had a fantastic start to the season. Arsenal and Brighton. Um, I don't think it's going to be a low block team i don't think brighton is going to sit in the back four back you know low block whatever i think you know they're going to try go for it they're going to try play out from the back we're going to try press them and it's whether they can maybe handle that pressure they can handle playing out the foot back against us and it's going to be difficult because they are very good at doing that they have good players to do that too as i said and um, and yeah you know that i don't think they're going to sit back they're going to go for us they're very good transition threat i just mentioned a dingo off the bench but matoma minta very fast so they have good transition threat pedro running through midfield so listen it's going to be a super tough game they're very good threats very good you know attack as well and you know they're not going to sit back as well they're going to take the game to us maybe that could play in arsenal's hands but listen i'm looking forward to see what will happen what the emirates as well so i'm very confident for the game at home you always have to be confident and, and i'm looking forward to it but in a team that play wonderful football and under the new manager looks like that's going to be no different arsenal play great football too two teams that like to play nice football i'm looking forward to it two teams that have had a fantastic start to the season and one of them you know maybe both of them can stay undefeated if it's a draw but Let's hope one of them will be uh, defeated and let's hope it will be Brighton because we don't want to be at home, especially this early in the season. And if we can win, let's hope we can go 3-0 at home. Obviously, that not the score prediction. That's obviously, um, you know, we won three games over on the season. Let's hope we can do that because we've got two tough games after the international break. And go into that international break with a bit of positivity um, because if we don't send an attacker and we don't win against Brighton, it could get very negative real quick. But maybe if we send an attacker and beat Brighton, it could be the opposite. You know, have to wait and see. But yeah, I'm looking forward to the game. And my score prediction, listen, I'm going to go with a 2-1 Arsenal. I was going to say 2-0, but three clean sheets in a row. We could do it. How likely is it, though? I don't know. But in a very good transition threat. And, uh, yeah, just a very good team. So, I don't know if we will keep a clean sheet, even though I would love it. Going to go 2-1. I think it will be super, super tight. I have to wait and see. But some of our players, Saka, you know, Martinez had a poor start. Maybe Trosser may uh, come in. But, yeah, I think whoever plays, I trust them to do very well. Um, and, yeah, I'm looking forward to the game. And it should be two, a good game between two uh, two great sides. Um, but, yeah, as for the, uh, that's it for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure you let me know your thoughts in the comment section below about everything I've discussed. The Brighton side of things. And the Arsenal side of things as well you confident for the game are you not how do you think it will go and your score predictions do you think arsenal will win 
or maybe this could be Arsenal's first slip of the season. Let me know your thoughts on that. And um, make sure you check out the past couple of uh, videos I've done. It will mainly did daily, daily Arsenal news. Talked about Aaron Ramsdale, Joan Garcia. That move is now done. Have to wait and see if Arsenal make a move for, uh, for Garcia. And um, but yeah, as for this one, leave a like on it if you've enjoyed it. Subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you in the next one.